What's going on guys, Mitch here, and today we're taking a look at this beautiful piece of kit from ASOS, and we have it on the box here. So I don't know if this is a specific serial number to me, but there you go. Mill GT, two thirds, long sleeve, Jersey C2. So a little bit to digest here, but Mill is their comfort line, GT is kind of their entry level, two thirds is their uh, spring and su or sorry, fall and spring, or spring and fall. LS, long sleeve, jersey is jersey, C2 is not a Corvette, I have no clue what that is. But, let's get into this guy, take a look at it. You've probably seen me wearing this in a number of videos over the last little while. And figured I'd actually add another one to the mix. Because I've liked it so much. Um, is there anything else that comes in here? Oh, cool. Never saw this before. How to wash ASOS technical equipment. We recommend you spend money on our cleaner so that uh, we're more profitable. Huh, that's a nice little card. Blue on the back. Nice little winter color. All jokes aside, yeah. You know what? It's, uh, I haven't tried their cleaner, but I'm assuming it works well. So closed zippers, turn inside out, liquid detergent only, gentle cycle, hang dry. Pretty common sense, but sometimes people, uh, they'll fool you. Nothing else in the box. Um, I'll tell you, right off the hop, it feels a little different than my uh, my gray one. I think they call it Torpedo Gray or something. You've seen it probably in lots of logs. Super popular. Label. Little dude. We've got some information on it. Obviously the same as the tag. Size large. What, why, how. If you want to pause and take a look at that, by all means, take a look. Otherwise, this is going to come right off because that will end up in my washing machine. So let's get that out of here. All right. I'm kind of curious more than anything how this kind of stacks up against the current gray. So I, I guess I should probably give you guys some feedback on this. So I bought the torpedo gray version of this exact jersey um, about a year year and a half ago, in prep for the fall. Uh, I got a coupon code from ASOS to uh, to pick something up. And uh, I think it was a Strava challenge or something and I didn't really need anything. So I was like, ah, oh, you know what, I'll, I'll put it towards a piece for the fall that I really only have one of that I use a lot. And to me, like I, I have the fall jackets, I have the winter jackets, and um, I find that this piece is just terrific because it's kind of like an in-betweener between um, like summer jersey condition and a, and a winter or a fall spring jacket, I find anyway for me. And, and I put this kind of in that like 13, 14 Celsius to 16, 17 Celsius range where it's like it's just a little too cool for a short sleeve jersey, but maybe it's an early morning ride in the summer or in the fall when it's afternoon but it's not quite fall yet, if that makes sense. And I find that this is what this jersey excels at. So, Mill GT, we've got a nice zipper, which I love. It's usually protected on the inside. The, uh, the collar itself is all nice and smooth all around, so if you have a beard or whatever, it's not gonna get caught in it, I love that. And that's actually one thing that when you it is a long sleeve, but it's almost lightly insulated, which is awesome. Which we'll show here. On the front. So if we crank this guy open, you'll see, it's hard to show, honest to God, it's so hard to show this, but it's it's a thicker jersey with some kind of like very light insulation on the inside of it that their summer jerseys don't have this. So it's, it's lightly insulated, but less so in their fall winter jacket or, or fall spring jacket, spring fall. I need to be more decisive. Stitching is, is always the best on the ASO stuff, it's all good. Down low, we've got the elastic for around the back so that uh, it doesn't slide up as you're riding and conversely it holds whatever you have in the pockets. Do we have a cord wire hole? We do. So this is on the inside of the back, so you have a little spot here that if you put something in your pocket, you're able to run a, you know, headphone jack or whatever, team radio, up inside the coat, not 
uh, out of the pocket, so which is nice. So you just put it in there, bada bing, bada boom. Um, there's usually like a have a nice day somewhere on here. It's usually on this, but now it's Clima, two thirds. That's funny. It usually says something clever and witty on there. <clears throat> um, what else we got here? Sleeves. They're usually seam cut, so there's no stitching on the ends, which is kind of interesting if we look at this. See how it's just like one piece? That's nice. Uh, let's flip it back over here towards the pockets. So pockets, what are we looking at here? Well, a couple things. I, I don't know if this has changed or not, but I'll tell you what I like to have in my jersey pockets. I like to have three compartments because I usually have <laughs> In all honesty, a GoPro in the middle, uh, a Rafa bag in the side here with house key, cash, credit card, um, and just like band-aids and stuff. And then in this pocket, I usually have my cell phone for Instagramming and uh, just whatever. So phone, camera, little wallet. So that's what I usually keep in the back of my jersey. So I like having three compartments. And I can tell you, I've got three compartments. Number two. I like in the ASO stuff when they put this little flap inside of each pocket. So it's like, it's, uh, I don't know how to explain that, but it's like a little overhanging piece of fabric that hangs inside so that things can't slide up your back. Um, over many different jersey companies and configurations, this has become what I love about ASOS and it's just become what I, I need. So three compartments with a little safety hanger or whatever you want to call it inside. This is the flap to prevent things from coming in. And then a radio, if you if you still do run wired headphones, well, you have the option to still use them, which is awesome. But, you know, let's be honest, it's 2023, and uh, most people now have AirPods or whatever. So what else do we got here? Um, I'm assuming there's no reflection points on this, and I think the other one had that, not a big deal but uh, it would be nice to have that. Black is the color for, for me in the fall because let's be honest, when you're riding and it's uh, winter time, there's usually road spray, dirt, dust, and debris that come up and black won't stain. So remember when you're picking out your colors for your winter and spring and fall stuff, black won't stain, whereas a nice white or a light gray tends to stain. Um, just my experience, which is why a lot of the white jerseys from ASOS will have a black pocket on the back, fun fact. On the sleeve, we've got that ASOS logo, which is kind of cool. It looks sharp, nothing crazy, but it does it does match the back of the jersey. So they can, when you when you pass people, you, they they both see you on two spots, which is nice. I'm just joking around, obviously. Um, this is new. Ooh, what is this? So this would be on your right arm. Uh, it says, can you see what it says here? Holder. Sunglass holder. So a little tab to tuck your uh, your sunglasses in. I'm telling you right now, that's not going to bother me, but I think that whoever uses that is going to look ridiculous. That does not have this feature on the uh, Torpedo Grey one. So this is definitely a different version of the jacket. But what an interesting little feature, hey? Like uh, a tab for your sunglasses. I never would have thought we'd see the day on that. Huh, interesting. Uh, otherwise, you know, standard standard ASOS build quality, and I'll just give you a close-up on some of the stitching here. This is on the inside. You know, this is just so well done. No issues. It's all triple stitched. It's just, it's good stuff. You know, with ASOS, the problem I find that I tend to have is I bought a lot of it right away after wearing out a bunch of competitor stuff, and then now I don't get to refresh my kits as often because they still work identically as to when I bought them years down the road. Uh, so I guess that's a good problem to have. And you know, I'm going on four seasons now on some of my bibs with ASOS and they're still, you know, they're worn, but they're still really, really nice and I don't have an issue with them. So that should tell you something. And, uh, um, you know, this year I'm probably on pace for 10,000 miles, somewhere in that range. So lots of riding and uh, still using this stuff. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end things there. There's your Mill GT. Um, I guess your insulated long sleeve jersey, not jacket. 
and uh, I think this is a good one, man. Like, you'll see me in the vlogs in a gray version of this um, in the fall here, and I love it. I use it all the time. It's kind of become my go-to, and it's my go-to because it works. And now that I can also carry sunglasses, geez, I'll just be in the sun non-stop. I'll have to find another use for that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to use that for. But, um, yeah, there's the jacket. Um, anyway, I think I've probably gone on too long already. So, um, appreciate you guys. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'm sure this will be a video that will kind of be a slow burn for a little while. And, um, yeah, I'm sure I will get back to you if there's any questions. Otherwise, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And until next time, I'll catch you around. Peace.